Ann Cornell. Um, I'm from Australia and um, I'm a writer slash teacher slash singer, performer, etc. And um, I always had an idea to come to Iran, but more recently, say, four years ago, I don't know, you just hear people say, oh, I, when I went to Iran once, it was so fantastic, people so hospitable, food so delicious, the countryside so incredible. But um, a while ago, maybe two years ago, maybe one, no, one year ago, I was um, at a, a fair and I, there was a man there selling sweets and they were beautiful orange blossom sweets and rose water sweets and I, and I took a, a bite and I said, oh, where do you come from? And he said, Esfahan. And I said, oh my God, I'm going to Esfahan. So that's one of the reasons I'm here. I've been here, um, I've been here maybe two weeks, um, two and a bit weeks, and I flew into Tehran, and I had two nights there, and then I was down in um, Mahan, which is near Kerman, uh, on a 10-day writing residency. So on a writing residency, you're meant to be in a place, kind of in seclusion, and then you spend time working on your writing, but I'm afraid I didn't get much writing done. Well, my experience here has been I've just been in a, a constant state of excitement every day because I'm experiencing something new every single day. So um, our host at Seven Gardens Residency, which is in Mahan, Sarah and Muhammad took us around and included us in family events like um, bread making with a whole extended family. Um, we went we went even to the cemetery on Thursday night to experience, you know, when all the families go and have a picnic on the graves. That just blew my mind. Um, we did weaving with the weaver. We had lunch at the weaver's house. They took us really into their family um, and, you know, fed us. And every day we had the most incredible food. You know, it's, every day is just exciting. Then we went out into the Lut Desert um, we went on a waterfall picnic way up at Mount Hazer. We went to the Rayon Citadel. Everything we did is something I'd never done before. So that's why I'm in a constant state of excitement. So I teach a technique called meditative writing, um, which is uh, basically it's a guided meditation where I take writers into um, a sort of, into their subconscious state and I remind them to involve all the senses and then I make them write without stopping for about 10 minutes and, um, and then, you know, we read, we share the writing and um, so it's just something, a method that I've, in, I've evolved from my own practice of meditation. And um, so I did it with a group of writers in Kerman. It was you know, they had a great response to it. They really liked it. Well, before I came to Iran, I knew that people were hospitable. Pe others had said to me, oh, you must go to Iran. The people are so friendly, so hospitable, so lovely. The food is incredible. But I thought, yeah, okay, that's, it's going to be like that but it was like more than that like double that like triple that like quadruple that because everywhere everybody does everything they can to help and then when you're leaving they say now if you ever need anything any time of day or night here's my number please contact me so on so on so you know apart from the fact that everyone opens their arms and is genuinely hospitable you know plies us with the most fantastic food, you know, it's, it's, it's true what people said, so it's even doubly, triply, quadruply true. Well, I'd like to bring a group back, so part of what I do is, as a writer and a teacher of writing, I take groups travelling around um, different countries like Japan, Morocco, Bali, that's my trio at the moment. 
and um, I'd love to bring a group back here. So I'm hoping um, to bring a group back as soon as I can.